The lack of liquidity and the presence of toxic assets in the balance sheets of troubled banks are two important consequences of the financial crisis. ESE Professor Xavier Vives proposes a model that could help to solve both problems through asset auctions. For the uh, liquidity auctions, which are basically uh, the auctions which are conducted by the central bank to provide liquidity to financial intermediaries, um, it's, it's basically it's like uh, money, lending money for a, for, for a, certain, uh, for a certain period. The financial intermediaries uh, can um, have the liquidity they need for the day-to-day -day operations, and also they can meet the reserve requirements uh, that the central bank imposes, that's to say, the cash that they must have at hand every day. The auctioning of assets uh, in the financial system is important at least for two uh, goals, two objectives. Uh, one is uh, to provide liquidity uh, to banks and financial intermediaries, and uh, two, uh, to sell uh, public debt uh, in the markets and, and for the governments to, to get financing. The liquidity uh, auctions are important uh, because obviously um, for financial intermediaries to have uh, liquidity, to have enough money, it's crucial for them, for all the operations they perform, uh, in particular to provide credit to firms and to households and to families. And to do this, well, they need uh, the money and they need to have it uh, in, uh, in enough uh, capacity. One format is a, like a fixed quantity. Let's say that the central bank wants to auction a certain amount of liquidity. And then the banks bid to get this amount. And in a, in a sense, uh, the banks which are willing to pay more for this amount, they get, uh, they get more. Another format, it's uh, a fixed rate uh, tender, uh, what's called a fixed rate tender. And this basically uh, means that the price of the auction or the interest rate is fixed. And then uh, uh, the financial intermediaries and the banks bid as much as they want. So they can get as much funds as they want, basically, but at this price, at a fixed price. So in a sense, one is a fixed quantity auction and the other is a fixed price uh, auction. Under normal circumstances, uh, typically central banks uh, use more uh, a fixed quantity uh, uh, auction. And, and, and the reason um, is that in this way, um, the price is not set by the central bank, but is set by the same auction process. So the auction serves a price discovery process. What happens is that in a crisis uh, situation, uh, sometimes uh, this uh, mechanism is somewhat uh, distorted. And uh, what may happen is that uh, the auction uh, gets a lot of uh, mispricing. So basically that the price is not the right one. And uh, several of the bidders uh, may have, in a sense, too much power in the auction, too much market power in the auction. Uh, in this situation, um, which tends to happen rather uh, in, in crisis situation, um, then it may be better to use the fixed rate uh, format. And the fixed rate format, in fact, uh, that's what the ECB has done uh, after uh, the 2008 uh, failure of Lehman Brothers, when the crisis really uh, became systemic, the financial crisis in the world. So then, uh, in order to provide as much liquidity as possible uh, to the banks, he said, okay, let's fix a rate, uh, then the amount uh, will be decided by the banks, uh, because basically the quantity is not fixed, uh, so we, cannot we do not control the quantity, but then we ensure a price, and everyone transacts at this price, and in a sense, uh, this, uh, then the liquidity is allocated very efficiently. Okay, so the drawback of this is that you do not control the quantity. But in a crisis situation, when you want to uh, get, in a sense, a lot of liquidity to the banks, not to control the quantity, that's fine. So that's not so much so a problem. Uh, uh, in a normal situation, it may be a problem uh, because the central bank may think that by uh, providing too much liquidity to the banks, then it may generate later on inflation. The auctions, in principle, can be effective uh, in, in, uh, in, in removing toxic assets from balance sheets. This was the Paulson plan in the US uh, at some point. Um, but 
uh, th there is a problem also, and, and the problem is that because um, there is a lot of private information and uh, many uh, of the participants uh, in this auction have really private information uh, about the value, the real value of, of these assets. So what may be is that the treasury who is trying to buy these toxic assets from the banks ends up paying a lot. That's to say the margins may be uh, very large. And so in a sense, uh, there was uh, some worry that be it the Fed uh, or, or, or other central banks or the treasuries uh, would be exploited uh, by the situation and they would end up paying um, too much in a sense uh, for these uh, toxic assets. This, what I was describing already, there were reverse auction in which uh, the, uh, let's say the treasury wants to buy, uh, wants to buy the, the toxic assets from the uh, damaged balance sheets uh, of banks.